our cross village. city. Well, it's getting late, so I don't think we're going to go there. We'll pull over here and cross village. See if we can uh, see what's left of the sunset. Oh, the town's still open. Here's uh, Legs Tavern up here. If you look up, oh, it looks like a handrail. Where's that? Yep. Yeah. Right there. Those are legs. Those are legs. <laughs> All right. Legs in. Famous landmark. The cross is up here. Here's the Catholic Church. No, that's the Presbyterian Church. Catholic Church is out of town. And there's the cross. Thank you. All right, that's the end of our... Well, we still got some light, so we thought we'd uh, check out the cross. Here's the Cross Village, Michigan. Sixteen hundreds in the mid sixteen hundreds, the Jesuit fathers established an extensive log mission station first below, and then here on the bluff. The Adawa called it. I'm going to just mess that word up. Or prayer place by the cross and the French called the settlement La Croix or Cross Village. 1691, Father Sebastian Razzle wrote that 100 foot cross erected by Father Jake Marquette marked the La Croix settlement for Lake Travelers. 1740s, after the massacre at Fort, how do you say that? Michelin Mackinac. Michelin Mackinac, the Adawa and Jesuit Father Du. Juan A. I messed that up. Saved the surviving British here at the LaCroix Mission. 1765, the mission station was abandoned with a recall of the Jesuits. 1833, Father Frederick Barriga rebuilt the old Long Mission Church. It was burned when a fire swept the village in 1918. If you have a chance, look up Bishop Barriga, the snowshoe priest. He traveled. The Upper Peninsula, the Keweenaw Peninsula, down to Chicago, down over through uh, Upper Peninsula, uh, the northern part of the Lower Peninsula. He came from a pretty rich family, didn't he? Well to do. Yeah. His yeah, his yeah. family. Pardon me. Yeah, he gave up all his inheritance. He gave up all his inheritance to become a mission, and why did they send him? Because he was too conservative. He was too conservative, so the Jesuits thought they'd send him off to the to the New World and be done with him. But he built quite a few churches. And look, he's uh, quite the missionary. He learned uh, the language of the indigenous, the, the American Indians, rather than trying to force them to learn English. He learned their language. And he published several, and what? He published several books for them. And he's, books. yes, he published several prayer books so they could read in their own language. Lake Michigan, out there, and the sunset. Okay, we're gonna head back to the car, see what we're gonna do next. Just noticed the moon. Let me thought I'd get a picture of that.
That looks cool. Okay, we're heading north from Cross Village. And the Catholic Church is up here somewhere. the legs uh, eating place whatever it's called the legs in the legs the legs in looks pretty busy so we're gonna head out of town head back home okay it's too dark to see any color anymore so uh, the color tour is done for today well uh, this is Tim and Deb we'll talk to you later bye <laughs>